Welcome back. This is part two where we left off. We got the Pectron box right there. Okay. And we've got our wiring diagrams that we don't know what we've got. Is it a 74? Is it a 74 and a half? Is it a 75? We don't know. Actually, we do know because we ran the VIN number and the VIN number shows that it's a 70. If you're going to order parts for this one, you have to hit uh, the 74 and a half. You can't just go for the 74. So it's got to be the later N74. So this is the later N74 and a half. I guess that's why, because I guess half my brain is freaking fried looking at those freaking wiring diagrams saying, what the hell is this doing? Okay, so we now have that spliced. And what this guy, what the previous owner had, he actually had that wire in there, just like in the last video. He had that wire, and he actually had it going to the starter relay here. And he had this this wire right here, this yellow wire, yellow and brown wire, I believe, I think, might be. Let me pull it out and find out. Well, I think it's a yellow wire. I think that's what it shows in the wiring diagram. <laughs> he actually had it, uh, had the starter relay hooked up live. Okay, so he didn't bypass the Patronics box, and he actually just left that laying there. So I'm kind of thinking that maybe that was the reason why I wasn't getting any spark down here, possibly. Because it wasn't, because I think the Patronix box was still, or the Pectron, Patronix. I think the Pectron box was still in play at that time. So, I now have that all wired up, ready to go. The, <clears throat> There's the red wire. There's the red wire going from our distributor. Oh, great. I'm going to have to put that back on. That sucks. Damn it. Yeah, okay. Who cares? You're teaching people. I have no problem putting that back on. If you're a mechanic, Chris, you know how to do that. It's easy. It's two seconds. Okay, since I'm done talking to myself now, where was I? Damn it. Okay. There's a red wire, black wire goes over here, and I believe it goes to the black and white wires over here, so I think I have that spliced into that, yeah, and that I think that was the original wire that was connected to the original uh, distributor before before I upgraded it. So, I think that's why I was not getting any spark. Now I'm getting spark obvious because I, I think I sh the, the previous videos that I have on my channel, I think it, uh, it's titled It's Alive, which shows it kind of kicking over and stuff like that when I'm throwing some starting fluid in it. So, we know it's getting spark now. And, and I did check it before I even uh, did all that. I actually went back there and... Saw whether or not I was actually getting power to my distributor. I was getting power to, or my coil. I was getting power to my coil. And then after that, then I actually took my wire, stuck the wire on there. So I was like, all right, I'm getting power over there. Stuck my wire over there. And tested the coil wire. Started getting spark out of that. And I was getting all giddy. So I'm kind of thinking that's... That was probably why. But to hook up that box, to hook up, you know, the upgrade, the, the AccuSpark and things like that, it was actually fairly simple. You know, sometimes when you look at stuff, you kind of dread doing it because you're like, ugh, I got to get into all that wiring and stuff like that. But, you know, once you start throwing everything together, you find out that it's actually, yeah, it wasn't as bad as what it was. Okay, and there's the figure one B. And here's we got it. I believe we have it hooked up right here, this way. For our live feed, we have it just going straight there. Because we're not going through the ballast wire. Yeah, because I think that's this, you know, if you, if you don't know what it, if you don't know how to hook it up, you know, you hook it up as one B which I believe is the ballast. So, and I tested my 
coil. Uh, it was reading, I believe it was reading the three. Because I was actually kind of worried that I might end up having to go get a 1.5. Because a 1.5 indicates a ballast coil replaced with AccuSpark Blue. Oh, and I also tested the old distributor too, and I think it, it also was a 3 ohm. Maybe. I might have thrown it away. I might have said screw it and threw it away. But I think it was also a 3 ohm. But also, if you go to Victoria British and you order that, I ordered that in a kit. It didn't ask whether or not you wanted a 1.5 ohm or a two or a three ohm uh, coil. So, you know, for the 74. So I'm kind of thinking that this really isn't a ballast wire car, even though it's, even though the wiring diagram kind of says it is. I'm kind of thinking that it's it's probably still a standard ignition, unless somebody has, unless somebody knows something I don't. And if any of you guys get on the MGB Experience websites to see what people are doing on there, you know, I mean, I'm kind of assuming they probably go to YouTube as well. You know, let, let me know in the comments of whether, you know, whether or not you know what, what's going on here. You know, why do I have to use the 7576 UK market to do that? Because I'm, I mean, I, I even, I bought... I don't even know if I've got it in here. It may not be in the garage. I bought the manual for it. And I think you can get the manual for it also on Victoria British. Nah, it's empty. Oops. Hoping I didn't lose something I needed. I do need that. Ah, there it is. All right, let me show you something. Haha, <laughs> Jim Carrey. Oh, okay. The complete official MGB 6274. Emphasis on the word the complete. Ha ha ha. Okay. You're wondering, Chris, why do you have those in... Why don't you just go off the book? Yeah, I tried. There's diagram one. Up. Okay. That one shows two batteries, two six. There's another two batteries. That one's got two. And I can't remember, maybe, it, I think it shows. At least the book's showing the buzzer. You can't find that on the freaking wiring die. Well, you can, but. Oh, okay, there we go. I probably passed it. There we go, diagram 11, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So let's read these together. Okay, let's go right down, the, let's go through them all. 62, 64, 64 to 67, 67, 68, 68, 69, 68, 70, 70, 71, 71, 72, 67, 68, 68, 69, 69, 70, 70, 71, 71, 72, 71, 72. Wait a minute. Where's the diagram for the 74, you might ask? Well, guess what? I asked that same question. I actually con contacted him. Said, hey, uh... This is supposed to be seven, uh, what is it, 68 to 74? 62 to 74? Where's the 73 and 74 wiring diagrams? And guess what? My response, the response that I got back was, wow, we didn't even know that wasn't even in there. 
and nobody has ever asked this question before. <laughs> so, hey, if anybody can find the 72 and 74 wiring diagrams, and don't forget, we put emphasis on the complete official MGB 6274. Now, if I'm actually acting like an ass, and one of you guys actually has this book, and hey, make a freaking video and show me why I'm freaking wrong. Because I just went through all those wiring diagrams, and those are the only ones in this book. Please point it out. I have no problem when people tell me I'm wrong. No problem at all. That's how we learn. All right. So, that is what I did. I, I just wanted to show you guys that. And I wanted to show you those wiring diagrams and actually show... Uh, sometimes when you get into a vehicle, this is my first MGB, but I have re done vehicles before. I had a 68 C10 I had to sell before I came out here to Colorado. So, and, and I took two years of auto tech in high school. Boy, I wonder if they even offer that anymore. Probably not, considering the fact that it's every job I've ever been at, I always tell them I work on vehicles, and everybody asks, oh, what do you do, what do you do, can you do this, can you do this, can you do this? And I always have to tell them, no, I can't do any of that stuff because I'm not licensed, insured, and bonded. And if I, do, if I make a mistake, could cost you your life, and that could cost me mine. So, I'm sorry, I always have to apologize to people, and it sucks because I'm the type of person that would have no problem telling that person, get the parts, bring it over, I'll hook it up. I have no problem telling people that, and I can't because everybody's so freaking sue happy. But, getting back to, you know, once you get into something, you're really not going to know what you're going to find. Because I'm sitting there thinking, I'm like, well, there should be a 74. If they specifically say that there's a 74 and a half, there has to be a 74 and a half wiring diagram. Nope. I haven't seen one yet that specifically says 74 and a half. Although I think if you get, if it's a 7374 diagram, I think that's the lower end of the 74. And if it's 7475, I think that's the 74 and a half. I could be wrong on that. But, oh yeah, and also had a problem with uh, that red wire right there. That's not supposed to actually be red. I believe that used to be brown. I had to replace that wire, and I think the previous owner told me the reason why he didn't hook, he didn't have the alt, the old alternator hooked up because I think he said that it was it was bad. I forgot about it. I hooked it up, and it melted that freaking brown wire. So, and even replacing this, the uh, connector doesn't look anything like the connector on the old one. So I was almost having to guess on the placement of the wire. So I was actually a little cautious when I first hooked it up. And I've had it hooked up since and tried turning it over. Nothing's burning up, so that's good. But this video is getting long. If this is the end of part two, there probably will be... There, there won't be a part three, but there'll probably be some more updates as we move along. Please uh, hit, me, uh, hit me with a like or, you know, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Uh, I'd appreciate any comments below and I hope that everybody has a great rest of the day. You guys take it easy.